school. PCBs, and there are a few things that cause parents, students, and staff more concern. They're being told that your school has tested positive for toxic chemicals like PCBs, while all across the city, one school after the next is testing positive for these toxic chemicals, including right here, PS45 in Bushwick, Brooklyn. And the numbers are higher than ever. Off the charts. Here at PS45 in Bushwick, Brooklyn, EPA tests show the highest levels of leaking PCBs since they started a round of testing this year. Up to 660,000 parts per million found here, over 10 times the allowable limit. 19 samples were taken from lighting fixtures in 11 classrooms here. All of the samples taken showed results above the limit. EPA says the likely cause was capacitors in many of the lighting fixtures that had burned out or completely failed. Over time, many of them eventually leak, and the PCBs become airborne. They volatilize, and children and teachers and custodians are at risk of breathing that in. The EPA is randomly testing schools right now, looking closely at old light fixtures where PCBs are often found. We first told you last month about PS11 in Fort Greene testing positive for PCBs, then PS13, now it's PS45. PCBs were banned by Congress in 1978. PCBs are associated with permanently depressed IQ, with disruption of immune function, and with disruption of normal hormonal development. New York City's Department of Education is taking immediate corrective action by replacing fixtures where necessary. The EPA says there's no immediate health risk for students and staff at these buildings. EPA is calling for a citywide system to replace the fixtures. DOE says they're listening, but that it will cost money. It could cost a whole lot of money. Just to give you an idea of how uh, extensive this problem might be citywide, Jody, we're talking about possibly 800 schools affected. Reporting live tonight from Bushwick, Brooklyn, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News. All right, Peter.